Hello my loves and welcome back. Today we are picking up exactly where we left off in the last video, so if you haven't seen that I will leave that linked here, but that was how I redecorated this room to be more peaceful, more productive, more aesthetic, mainly a bit more practical. So today that's what we're going to be exploring a bit more, how I have stored all of my art supplies, my stationery and my filming supplies in ways that are both practical and sometimes decorative, ways that I can access things very easily and keep my work as streamlined as possible. So you'll have seen a once round of the room so far already but now we can get into the nitty gritty of where everything is. So starting where you just come in the room we have my easel here with a load of my most commonly used brushes and a few pins that I've collected, a couple of canvases down there and then this basket with some of the larger but less commonly used items, things that I still need but don't necessarily need to hand, stuff like tape, gesso, fixative spray, my label maker, and then next to all that, I have a small drawer unit that was originally a bedside table. And on top of it, I keep my journal and a notebook that I use for taking quick notes. I also stash my mouse and mouse pad under here when I'm not using them. Then in the top drawer, this is where I keep my most commonly used items, things I want within reach while I'm at my desk. So I have these little templates that I use when I'm drawing up a print that I want to be a certain size. I have a very small palette of my most commonly used gouache paints a small jar that I sometimes use for water when I'm just doing a quick painting. My watercolour paint palette as well. And all of that sits on a plastic palette that I use to mix my gouache paints. At the back here I have a few more notebooks and sketchbooks that I used more often. A few rulers and things on the side. And in this little container here I keep my most used stationery. So again I have a little ruler, pencil, fountain pen, water brush, white gel pen and a highlighter. And that's it for my everyday supplies that I always like to keep within reach. In the drawer underneath, I have a really compact scanner, a paper trimmer, a cutting mat, and again, a really efficient and super convenient light box. And I'll try to link as many things as possible as you see in this video in the description if you wanna check any of this stuff out. So moving over to my desk, as I said, if I'm not using my computer, I keep my mouse mat under the table on top of those drawers. I keep my daily bullet journal planner here, the sketchbook that I'm currently using underneath it, and my five-year journal underneath. I use these every day, so just having them right here on my desk is perfect. I also, in this little jar, have the pen I use the most while I'm journaling, another pen just in case, another pen just in case, and the three paint brushes that I use most often as well. And behind that, just on the window ledge, I have more paint brushes, ones that I don't use as often, and my pencil sharpener there in a bowl where I can collect the shavings, plus this clock that comes in really handy for any sort of Pomodoro work that I want to get done. Everything up on the shelves is purely decorative, including the palette knives and the mannequin. I've probably used each of those once or twice in the whole entire time that I've had them. But on the other side of my desk, I do keep a couple of post-it notes so I can make quick notes, some Vaseline and some hand cream. This little container has tape and erasers in it, and tucked away right at the back is the remote for my treadmill. So my treadmill is actually stashed away here under my desk. When you first come in the room, you can't see it, which is how I like it. It's kind of tucked out of the way with a pair of trainers that I use whenever I'm on it. It rolls out, it's on wheels, and it also folds out to be at full length. So really compact and convenient. And then just to the left of that is a folder where I keep any larger pieces of art that I've done and a piece of acrylic that I occasionally use as a palette, but I just think it looks quite nice. So I don't mind having it out as a little decoration as well. The next area is this low DIY bench that I put together to store most of my books and other sketchbooks and notebooks. So on top of it, I have a few books that I use for reference and inspiration. I also have a lovely porcelain palette that I use for watercolors. And I have a ton of blank canvases of all different sizes that I really need to get through and use. I also keep my sewing horse thing here and my printer is tucked away in the corner. Then underneath is just a selection of books, more blank canvases, and the sketchbooks and notebooks are loosely organized into the ones that are completely blank, the ones that are half finished, and the ones that are completely full. And finally, we have my DIY flat file. This is where I keep the rest of my art supplies and filming supplies. So on the top, I have a couple of wooden boxes and an old leather picnic type box, all of which are from the charity shop, all of which are empty, but I think eventually can serve as extra storage if I need them. More blank canvases, of course and a few more sort of knickknacks and bits and bobs that I can't bear to get rid of, so they're just there as decoration. So starting with the very top drawer, this is where I keep all of my loose paper and any sketch pads, different sizes, colours, thicknesses, 
paper quality and also any paper scraps as well. Underneath that is more of a stationary drawer. So at the front here, we have loads of different black fine liners, lots of other black pens in different sizes. So some are brush tips, some are really thick nibs. Then I have some highlighters and other sort of felt tip pens. Again, some more brush pens, but this time colored. Over here I have colored biros and fine liner pens, as well as a couple of white gel pens. At the front, I just keep my large scissors. These I mainly use for sewing, but they don't fit in my sewing box, so they're just in here. Then I have sort of cutters and punches. So single hole punch, regular hole punch, a couple of blades for my paper trimmer, spare blades for my Stanley knife, and a rotary cutter. I have a corner punch to round out corners on paper, a load of different colored leads for mechanical pencils and a pencil case back here with all of those mechanical pencils inside. And throughout the back, I have a couple of watercolor palettes and my portable painter and a couple of portable painter micros as well. In the next drawer down is more stationery and journaling supplies. So lots of different glues here, regular tape and a load of different washi tapes, different sizes, bulldog clips, paper clips, a large stapler with spare staples and some blue tack, some stamping supplies, lots of different sizes of post-it note, inks for the stamping, a date stamp and a roller stamp that I use to cover up my address on things, the watercolor paints that I squeeze into my palettes, pins and lots of spare erasers. Next up is my gouache paint drawer with all of my gouache paints organized in groups of colors. So from oranges to yellows, to reds, to pinks and purples, different blues, different greens. I've got grays, whites, blacks, browns, and metallics back there. A large white because you always need more white and a small acrylic gouache set there. And underneath that are all my acrylic gouache paints. And right at the bottom here is where I keep my acrylic paints different inks and calligraphy pieces and two sets of colored pencils. And finally, on the right-hand side of these drawers is where I keep all of my tech stuff. So I have different microphones here, different sizes for different uses, a couple of mini tripods, few cables and mounts also for the microphone and all of the dead cats, dead mouse things, I don't know what they're called, for the microphones as well. I have a battery charger and all of my rechargeable batteries, the ones on top are the ones with a charge and the ones underneath are the ones that need charging. Everything in these drawers is a bit miscellaneous. So the next drawer is a light that I use for lighting my videos every once in a while, a couple of instant photo printers that I can use to print photos straight from my phone and the chargers for those. I have my instant camera and spare film for that as well as spare film for those other two printers, a couple of bits for cleaning my camera, a lens light diffuser type thing and a lens protector as well. This is a reflected sheet that's just folded up at the back and in here is my GoPro and the accessories for that. Down here is where I keep my cameras and lenses, including the one that I'm using now. So the camera I'm using now would usually be here. This is a lens cap for it. Then I have my larger camera and the lenses that I have for that. The lenses I have for my smaller camera, a couple of tripod attachments and a camera strap and a little container for all of my memory cards. This is where I keep my tripod and also these two desk mounts that I use to mount my camera to my desk for those overhead shots. I might have a very old video on how I film top-down video, so if I can find that, I will link it below. And finally, of course, there has to be a junk drawer. So I have a couple of speakers, a blow dryer that I use to dry paint when I can't be bothered to wait for it to dry, a couple of clamps that I use for attaching things to the desk when I need to. I have a wireless charger and a portable charger. This hand exercise thing that I never use, three different mice, mouses, a keyboard right at the back, an adapter thing. Right at the back, I keep a wrist brace thing that I occasionally use and one for my arthritic fingers as well. And I just realized that I completely forgot this junk drawer. So I have all of these gummy headphone things a few different cords, headphones. This is where I keep film for my camera. I have some different memory sticks and an Allen key to tighten up my treadmill and my desk, I think, as well. These batteries all go in my camera as well, my film camera. I have this nice and portable paper shredder, some spare phone protectors, a really old iPhone back here, external hard drive, and back here is just a box where I have the negatives of any film I've had developed and then the box that I'm gonna send the current film I'm using off to be developed. 
so that about wraps things up here thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already coming up i will be probably working on painting some of these canvases that i have lying around and thinking about relaunching my shop very soon so stay tuned for that but otherwise thank you guys so much for joining me on this one and i'll see you soon in the next one